dogs living in deplorable conditions. That's what Anne Arundel County police found inside the home where they were boarded. These dogs were in the basement area of the residence and kennels. Uh, inside those kennels were feces, uh, it smelled of ammonia, a strong chemical smell. The dogs were emaciated, one so badly he had to be euthanized. Police charged Rebecca Wolf and Cameron Whitaker Nelson with 40 counts each of animal cruelty for running an unlicensed kennel out of their Glen Burnie home. Advertising training for dogs, many out-of-state owners sent their puppies there. Unspeakable. I don't know how anybody could do that to a dog. Tecla Walton took some of those dogs into her training facility to get them well enough to travel. It's been less than a week and already, she says, they look and act healthier. They came in blank stares, um, just not sure of their world. And um, just with even in 24 hours, they really started to warm up. Um, we've had a group of volunteers that have called themselves the Love Patrol. And they've been coming by three times a day to supplement the care that my staff and I are giving them. Walton hopes the individuals charged are held accountable, and police say this investigation isn't over. There could be other victims out there who used Olympian kennels. We're just asking that if anybody had contact or their animals uh, were sent to this kennel and they had issues with these individuals to please contact us and we can see if there's any additional charges that may apply to these individuals. I think something needs to be done. I, I, I hope that they are prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Now Walton says that Tolkien here and the rest of the dogs should be well enough within a week or two to travel home. Reporting live in Elkridge, Kim Dacey, WBAL TV 11 News.